Before you start running around the city of Krat and telling fibs in Lies of P, you'll need to decide which of the three starting fighting styles you'd like to adopt, which will have a pretty big impact on the early part of your adventure specifically. Here's our recommendations for which class you should play first in Neowiz's fairy tale Souls Like. Just seconds after taking control of Pinocchio, you'll be presented with three weapons to accompany your puppet on his mission to become a real boy. Each of these weapons and the starting stats they come with are the beginnings of builds that will drastically impact your playstyle. The first option, the Path of the Cricket, equips you with a deadly saber that's designed for balance. This path is meant for what's sometimes referred to as a quality build in the Souls-like community, where the goal is to more or less evenly distribute points across all the stats to make a jack-of-all-trades that doesn't go too crazy in any one direction. This option is extremely solid in Lies of P, where most weapons can be adjusted to have good damage scaling across a number of attributes to turn you into an absolute beast in combat. Plus, this path allows for the most flexibility to change your mind later and spec into a more specific build if you end up falling in love with giant greatswords or something. The second option is called the Path of the Bastard, which is all about dexterity and speed. This path gives your puppet a lightning quick rapier and gives you high technique, this game's word for dexterity, and low motivity, their equivalent of strength, meaning you won't be able to use massive weapons very effectively, but will be a perfect fit for some of the quickest and cunning weapons in the game. To be honest, I only recommend this option for those who are specifically looking for a challenge, as this build is essentially like turning on hard mode. On one hand, being able to strike quickly is absolutely great, but you'll also be required to make use of weapons that absorb a very small portion of incoming damage by blocking, meaning if you want to survive an especially challenging boss fight, you'll need to learn their attack patterns and become a master at perfectly parrying their attacks if you've any hope of survival. Compared to the two other options where you absorb a much greater percentage of damage with regular untimed blocks, those who walk the path of the bastard are likely in for a much more challenging time. That said, this was the path I walked during my first playthrough, and as a Souls-like sweaty tryhard, I found it very fun. Finally, there's the path of the sweeper, a strength build that starts off with high motivity, low technique, and a giant greatsword that does high damage at the cost of slow-moving, stamina-draining blows. Frankly, this might be the best option for those looking to start off with a more forgiving experience, as heavy weapons absorb quite a lot of damage with regular blocks and are really good at staggering enemies, which stops them from attacking you relentlessly and can leave them open to execution moves that deal tons of damage. Plus, smacking bosses with a giant axe made out of discarded puppet body parts is just a heck of a good time. No matter which starting class you pick, the good news is you can immediately change your mind and start building to support a different weapon or playstyle at any time. And all of these weapons are extremely easy to pick up early on, so you aren't completely tied down. For more on Lies of P, make sure to head on over to IGN to check out our full walkthrough and growing wiki. And of course, for everything else video games, you're already in the right place. IGN.